as a curator, we are charged with making exhibitions. Sometimes those exhibitions are monographic and sometimes they're thematic. What I mean by monographic, usually we kind of focus on one subject or one person, one artist. If it's a thematic sh- exhibition, it means that you're bringing many voices or at least more than one sort of voice into the mix or into the fold. And that process is not unlike the accessions process where you're going through a period of fact finding, you're talking to different artists, you're going to the library, you're going to the archives, probably you are going to different collectors' homes, looking at works by those artists that you're interested in that they have, hopping in and out of studios. But then there reaches a point where you have your idea, you put pen to paper, you make a proposal, and it goes through an internal process where you get all the stakeholders who have a vested interest in the outcome of your project. You learn together as a collectivity of museum workers how to bring this project into the world. And so I feel like a lot of curating is mostly project management. It's mostly the day-to-day details, the administration, the handholding and all of that. And then there's a small fraction of it is actually the glamorous ideation traveling (laughs) kind of stage, but it's so worth it when you look up in two years down the line and you're looking up at a project like A Movement in Every Direction, Legacies of the Great Migration, and you see not only the tremendous efforts of the brilliant artists that you brought into the fold, but also the efforts of all of your colleagues and all of the communities that uphold those efforts and coalesce them into something tangible for audiences to see.